Hello there. Who'd have thought by the middle of September we'd still be experiencing temperatures during the middle of the afternoon into the mid-teens? That's exactly what happened on Thursday with temperatures peaking just over 16 degrees in parts of Aberdeenshire. Now for many we are under this influence of high pressure and a southwesterly flow is driving in a lot of cloud but a lot of warmth with it. Yes, a weather front into the far north but it means that we start off on an incredibly mild start this morning. These are more akin to daytime maximums at this time of year. So double digits quite widely first thing. The cloud, however, thick enough for a spot or two of drizzle, quite a damp, murky start out to the west. And our weather front producing some heavy persistent rain to the far north of Scotland and the Northern Isles. Top temperatures, though, with a little bit of brightness into eastern Scotland, maybe northeast England once again, 14, 15, maybe 16 degrees. However, that front will gradually sink its way south through the weekend. It's a cold front. It's allowing the wind direction to change to a northerly and to bring quite a different feel to the weather as we go through the weekend. So on Saturday, it will weaken off considerably as it moves its way through Northern Ireland into Northern England. Ahead of it, we should get some sunshine. To the north of that, it will be a cooler feel with a scattering of showers. Temperatures struggling to get into double figures by then. Now, Saturday night into Sunday, the front continues to sink its way steadily southwards. We can track the isobars all the way back up into the Arctic. That cold air is starting to take hold. It means in sheltered rural parts of Scotland, we could see a touch of frost at first thing on Sunday morning. Sunday, there will be some sunshine, but a keen northerly wind driving in some showers potentially along the coast and factor in the wind direction and the strength, it is going to feel noticeably cooler. So temperatures struggling to get into double figures right across the country. But watch this. Those clear skies continue through the night. Temperatures are likely to fall away in Scotland and the north of England. We are likely to see more of a frost as lows get down to minus two in one or two places. So a bit of a shock to the system in comparison to what we've had just lately. And in fact, to close out the month of November, it is going to stay on the cold side. Potential for some wintry showers later in the week with overnight frosts as well. Four winter walks from sunrise to sunset starts Monday the 29th of November on BBC4 and iPlayer. He wants tomorrow's news today. She's broadening her horizons. He's growing his knowledge. They're searching for expert opinions. She's dying for a lively discussion. He's taking stock of the situation. She wants to dive deeper. They just need a conversation starter. Everyone's news all in one place. The Papers, tonight at 10.30 and 11.30 on the BBC News Channel.